welcome to Bazan Honey. Um, today we're going to talk about winter hive losses. Um, you might come by your hive and you see you see all these dead bees. You're thinking there's a problem here, but th that can be a problem. I mean, if you had tons of them out here, but uh, I mean, honestly, that you're going to have winter losses. There's going to be bees that are going to be appearing out here. This is actually probably a good sign. It means that they're 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 probably well in there, and there's as bees are falling off and covering up the bottom board, they're actually dispatching undertaker bees to push the dead out between the uh, the holes on the mouse guard here. So uh, this actually, contrary to what a lot of people panic about when they see, they think it's a bad thing, but this is actually really a good thing. It's kind of a good sign. So uh, while we're here, we're just going to do a quick check on the hives. I think some of the entrances are a little bit snowed in. It's been uh, well, it's always breezy here. Today's I mean, today's like dead wind, which is, we don't really get a lot of. So this is really a nice day. It's negative six Celsius, which is uh, probably in the mid twenties in Fahrenheit, something to that effect. Uh, yeah, so we'll just do a little check here and see what's going on. But see if, if you look, I actually got, I've actually got a little bit of like ice, like water droplet right here, which is probably a good thing too, because you get the warmth coming out here and it's causing melting to occur. I can hear them. They're still like they're still there. If you look down here, the entrance reducer is pretty much half covered. This is that hive right here. If you look, I want to kneel on a stinger. If you see, they're a little covered over here. It's not like a bad thing necessarily, since let's face it, it's cold out. I'm sure that they got enough more than enough airflow, but. You don't want ice to start building up. So you want to make sure you clean that out. And then these kind of, on these bee cozies, they kind of fill with snow. So you just got to make sure that the snow all comes out the bottom and everything. And these nails are here to stop the uh, thing from riding all the way down and covering up that entrance. Let's see if you go to the, if you go to the next time from here. It's, a little bit of the same story. It's actually it's actually way worse. If you look here, you can see where the bees have almost been piling up right here. There's the hoarfrost right there. You can see where it's cut a hole right through. It's a good thing as well. But wow, I didn't realize that this got so built up down here. Right in here. I won't lie, they hate it when I do that. I'll get the odd visitor usually come out and see me. Not today. I can hear him in there though. I can hear him. All right, that's that's pretty good. This last hive right here. Now this hive, I think what's been happening is it's been getting the morning sun. And all the snow that's been getting in here has been getting warm off of this heat. And it's building a freaking ice dam here. It's been getting worse. Like look, I'll show you. Look at this. That is all ice. Probably gonna have to come by with a chisel and just knock that one of these days. Look at that, there's actually water coming off the top of this. I mean, that means that there's a lot of warmth in there. They're quite toasty. And uh, I mean, actually, maybe that's where it's coming from. I guess I'm wrong. I mean, it's probably just, uh, they're producing a lot of heat.
You can barely see them, but they're right there. There they are. That's everything we got today for you, but uh, please come in, uh, check us out again soon. We're going to be doing a lot of things in the spring. We're going to be splitting the colonies. Hopefully all three of these survive. This one's looking really good as long as they don't starve to eat all their, their honey. There's a lot of them in there. And uh, as long as everybody makes it through the winter, we're going to be splitting these colonies. we got to order three queens. I would have ordered them, but I wasn't, uh, it's my first winter. I just, I didn't want to waste queens. It seems like a terrible thing just to let them die if I don't need them all of a sudden um, so yeah we went ahead and we're gonna order the Queens and uh, get them in, in the spring we're gonna do splitting um, and we have another nook coming so we're gonna have four colonies minimum so it's gonna be a good year hey tune in Daddy. Connor buddy